Hi, Rem. So 6.3 homework question number 10 on this video. It says, um, the sample size problem. You have two options. You need to look for that sample size formula on section 3. Point, uh, we cover the sample size formula in several different sections. But for you, this is from 6.3 homework. So check out 6.3 presentation if you want to use the formula. You don't have to. We have a calculator for this too. So I'll read this and I'll go over this uh, with you. So it says a researcher wishes to estimate with a 95% confidence the population proportion. Oh, look, we're trying to estimate proportion, right? So when you see that much, um, you can open up proportion stat. I was not logged into stat crunch, so I'm going to have to do that. So remember sample size problem you gotta remember the formula if you're going with the formula if not you need to know where to access stat crunch sample size formula and it doesn't say sample size formula so you have to find it so you will go to stat you will go to proportion stat and you will, we have one sample so far we only did one sample problem but later on we'll see two sample one sample and um go down to with sample size go down to this one with slash sample size and then we have to enter everything that we are given. The confidence level is 0.95. Um, delete everything else. Delete everything else for now. Target proportion. And that's going to change. Sometimes they give you previous numbers. Sometimes they're not going to give you anything. The width is what we have to be careful about though. So let's keep on reading. The population proportion of adults who eat fast food four to six times per week. Her estimate must be accurate with 5% of population proportion. So what they are saying is the margin of error is 5%. Let's see if I can write these stuff down for you. Okay. Give me one second. I'm opening a Google Word doc. So what they just said is they want the desired margin of error to be 0.05. 5% in decimal is 0 0.05. So if margin of error is 0 0.05, the width of confidence interval must be twice that, so 0 0.10. So the width that you want to enter here is 0 0.10. Um, width is always twice the margin of error. So if they give you 7% for margin of error, then the width will be 14%. Okay, But we have to enter those in a decimal form. All right, what else? Uh, look at part A for me. When there is no preliminary estimate available, then you must use target proportion to be 0 0.50. We got no idea what it is, so just use 50% chance. The sample size required is 385. All right, but part B is going to say, find the minimum sample size needed. Um, if using a prior study that found that 32%, so we have number this time that we can use. So if they said, hold on, I'll go ahead and retype these after doing, if they say uh, the prior study knows that the sample proportion was found to be about 32%, enter the target proportion to be 0.32, um, width is still the same, 10%. And the required sample size goes down. If you know a little more about this population, you get to do less footwork. See, um, do how the results from part A and B compare. Having an estimate of population proportion reduces the minimum sample size. If you know a little more about the population by having data from a prior study, then you don't have to find as bigger sample as before if you have no idea. But that's how you can do the sample size problem. Now, I use that crunches calculator, but there is also a formula if you find that. I don't know. I found the calculator easier, but um, we went over this formula briefly during class, but this is how you can do this problem.